On a recent trip to the Pacific Northwest, I had some time to edit video and also be reminded of all the major logging operations that have occurred and continue to this day in that area. It seemed like I saw Douglas fir everywhere, and being from the Midwest, I could not help but marvel at all the beautifully straight trees and wondered how many board feet one might be able to get out of some of these trees. Back here in the Midwest, we are ready to set up a slabbing rail to allow a level first cut for our portable chainsaw mills. We purchased a set of Granberg's aluminum slabbing rail brackets and need to find a couple of straight 2x4s to attach to them. Hopefully some straight Douglas fir and not the light twisty white pine we typically find around here. So we headed off to a local lumber mill and quickly find out that it would be a waste of good wood to have a typical lumber mill in our area make 2x4s out of Douglas fir. But they do have 2x8s. So we purchased one that is 12 feet in length, as this will be long enough for most of our logs that we will be working with. The intent here is to rip it down the center and make our own Douglas fir 2x4s. Three batteries later, with our cordless skill saw, we have two Douglas fir 2x4s that will act as rails once we attach our brackets. We then mark out and drill the through holes for the bolts that will attach the brackets to the rails. After all four holes are drilled, we then use a spade bit marked just deep enough to countersink a hole just deep enough to hide the washer and nut so it does not interfere as a portable chainsaw mill runs across the top of this rail. We then attach the brackets to the rails. I will leave a link for these brackets and also Grandberg's website in the description below. Since all our logs are cut to different lengths, I found this piece of sacrificial cherry wood to use as another attachment point along the rails. There are a number of different ways to make your first cut when slabbing lumber, but we felt that the adjustability of these brackets would be more beneficial as we would be working with a variety of different diameter logs. The cutting length is only limited by the length of the 2x4s. It's time to test fit it on the log. After a few adjustments, we have everything set up for our first cut, which we will demonstrate in another video. I will leave plenty of links in the description below regarding the details of the different products that we used in this video. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to support our channel so you can continue to follow us as we put out more videos demonstrating our attempts to mill some slabs. Yeah.